three minutes with ARC-2. I am a radiological scientific officer, and this is our survival complex. This three-minute segment is on is books that we recommend that people should read. Well, I wish that people would better understand the conditions that uh, they should prep for and the necessary social structure needed for that prepping. I recommend that they read the four books that I am going to show you here. Uh, books and material related to the actual mechanics of prepping are presented elsewhere on our website and and in other and I discuss them in other videos. Uh, there is a large genre of books related to the situation that might exist after a great catastrophe. And uh, one, but one that I recommend most highly is called One Second After. And this is by uh, Forston, uh, William R. Forston. And it is a novel, but he has researched it and it most clearly shows the conditions that people might exist in. Forston, however, does not expect that there will be a nuclear war. He just attributes the events uh, to uh, EMP. Um, the book by uh, Forston has a foreword by Newt Gingrich and uh, a knowledgeable afterword by U.S. United States Navy Captain William Sanders, uh, all about the subject of EMP and it's based on a government report on that subject. While Forston does not anticipate either a great world catastrophe nor even a nuclear war in the traditional sense, still the described destruction is sufficient to give the reader some sense of what to expect. The second book that I recommend uh, is the 2008 book Reinventing Collapse by Dmitry Orlov. Orlov is a Russian American engineer. He was born in Russia, came to the U.S. when he was 12, spoke perfect Russian, became an engineer in the United States, was sent back and uh, uh, to Russia uh, by the com American company and both before and after the collapse in Russia. And he makes a comparison of the conditions there. So if someone wants a scholarly, insightful study of what collapse would look like in the United States. We're talking again just about economic collapse. Uh, Orlov, like Forston, is not ex anticipating, does not believe we'll ever have a nuclear war, and but still this gives you very much insight to the types of things that you need to prepare for. Um, while I obviously differ from both Forston and, and Orlov, and I think we will have a nuclear war, and also, separate from that, what I call a great catastrophe, I have also other ideas and solutions. Orlov recommends self-reliance, and Forston thought the U.S. cavalry would come to the rescue. Uh, but anyway, the other two books that I hope people will read are ones that I have written. Uh, my book, Society After Doomsday is premised on the concept that there will be nuclear war, war, World War III, and whatever the nature of a world catastrophe. It presents the solutions for the individual in the face of societal breakdown. The proposed preparation and response in my book is quite different from any that I've seen elsewhere. No matter how few implement, it will work better for those people than anything else that I can have been able to imagine. I really don't think they can depend upon the U.S. Capitol. The final book which you can download, uh, and it's another book that I've written, is an e-book and explains about the steps that we are taking right now in our safe organization and that we're trying to get people to, to participate in and cooperate in. Both of my books are available through our website. You can see the entire set of our videos uh, there uh, in a list on our website.
you for watching. And please remember that Arc 2 is not just about your survival. It is about preparing to the society to reconstruct after the Tuesday. It's the end of the world.